Silver Addiction here with a little album update for my Liberty Walking Half Dollars. I recently got a 1917 in and I didn't have that one, so it's going in the album. Open that up. See, I've got quite a few on the first page here. But this 1917 is going to get added in right now. And then I'll give you a little update on the rest of the album. Kind of hard to do that. It's really hard to do one-handed. That's now in the collection. I have the 17D obverse, 17S obverse, but I don't have the ones for the reverse. As you see, I don't have any of the 1916s yet. But I do have the 1918, 18D and S. The 19, don't have the 19D, but I do have the S. I have a 1920, but not the D, but I do have the S. 21s, those are pretty low mintage if I remember correctly, but I do have the 21S, which the 21S is just over half a million minted, so I'm lucky I found that one, I guess. See, I got a lot of holes to fill. Most of these are pretty common. I just haven't really been focusing on this album lately, and I probably should. I've been kind of focusing more on my Cedar Liberty dime collection lately, and I really should finish one collection before going to another, but sometimes you just get excited and go all over the place. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem? I'm hoping I'm not the only one. This page has got quite a few in it. As you can see, there's some holes. But it's getting there. And I guess I only need two on this page. Both Denver, 60... In 46 and 47 Denver. And of course, there's always room to upgrade. I like that 44D. That one looks like it could use some upgrading. Probably a lot of these could, but start with filling holes and then you upgrade when the opportunity comes along, right? I hope you all enjoyed this walking liberty album edition obviously these could use some upgrades the dates are pretty obscure it was really tough to tell what they were but there's only two years they could be but thank you all for watching and i hope you all have a great day